the habitat installation project that we're doing here on the Barwon River is to support native fish communities in this part of the catchment. And through our relationship with Emergency Recovery Victoria, they've assisted with the transport and supply of this timber. The Barwon River is like many rivers in our country has sort of had a long history of modification and in lots of cases they've actively removed snags and timber from the river and that has been the kind of core habitat for our native fish species. So as a result large parts of the Barwon River are virtually devoid of in-stream habitat and I guess what we're trying to do through this program is trying to reintroduce what would have been that native timber as habitat for native fish. You know, this is the, I guess, the benchmark for great in-stream habitat. It's very complex. There's sort of lots of, I guess, surface area. So that provides a lots of things. So it's substrate for primary production and all of the sort of in-stream macroinvertebrate life, things that sort of support fisheries. And also it's great habitat for refuge and for sort of seeking shelter along the sort of edge of the river. So in 2018, we had extensive bathymetry and in-stream woody habitat density mapping done. And I guess that gave us a really clear picture of where we could be sort of best making our decisions about placement of timber to get the best connection between these sort of habitat nodes along the river. We've done that one, did that one this morning, we're going to go down here now. We've sort of installed somewhere in the region of around 700 tonnes of native timber into this section of the river. It's about a five kilometre section of the river here. And we're sort of seeing good results from our monitoring in terms of you know, improvements in native fish habitat and recruitment, Australian grayling, Australian mudfish and Yarra pygmy perch. So it really looks like a crash and a splash, but yeah, kind of creating, you know, good fish habitat is, um, yeah, it's more than just pushing logs into a river. <laughs> We've got a really neat story here about sort of building a fishery from the ground up for what was, yeah, I guess a, a section of the river that was in very poor condition. and. It's great to think that we're making best use of, you know, something that would have been historically chipped or disposed of elsewhere as a perfect application for fish habitat projects. <laughs>